What is good everyone? This is your boy, Killa Afghan, back with another Destiny 2 video. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up below and give it a like rating. If you want to see more D2 content, please subscribe. I really appreciate the support, guys. And don't forget, leave the comments below. I'm always looking to improve the channel and I value your input. A quick disclaimer, guys. There is a spoiler alert on today's video. We are going to be talking about the Broken Courier, which is a quest found in Destiny 2 Forsaken. It's located in a dreaming city in an area known as The Strand. If you don't want to know how to do this quest, please don't watch the video and definitely do not leave any hate comments below. You've been forewarned. The Broken Courier quest was part of the October 23rd reset. When you complete this quest, you have a chance to get Dark Fragment and Powerful Gear as the rewards. It's great for leveling up or if you just want to go after some more Dreaming City gear. To start the quest, head over to the Dreaming City. When you land, Get on your sparrow and head towards the strand. In the top left corner of the strand, you'll find a cave. Go inside the cave and you'll find an awoken courier who's badly injured. She will kick off the quest. The courier is going to send you straight outside where you're going to fight an ogre called Zurogoth Shield of Zivu Arath. If I mispronounce the name, guys, you're going to have to bear with me. These are not names I come across often. Once the ogre is dead, you're going to recover the relic and go back to the awoken carrier in the cave. She's going to give you a warning before she sends you forward to reclaim two more stolen relics, and you're going to head towards the Garden of Esla. Once you're at the Garden, you're going to fight some mads and eventually work your way to a witch called Hazak Venom of Zivu Wrath. When you kill the witch and the adds, you can recover one of the two missing relics. To get the second relic, you're going to continue up the hill where you're going to find an ogre named Tulkor Ferocity of Zivu Wrath. Kill the ogre in the adds, and you'll be able to pick up the second relic. With both relics in hand, you're going to see a new quest step appear that says find the final Awoken Relic. Keep going forward until you find a knight called Korok Will of Zivu Wrath. Kill the ad surrounding him and go up the hill to enter the Transcendent Plane. You'll be entering the Confluence in the Dreaming City. Here you'll talk to the Awoken Tekion who's standing above the Awoken Carrier's body who has died from their injuries. She'll give you a small speech and send you along your way. Keep going forward until you reach Harbinger's Seclude, where you'll find a portal to the left. Once you go through the portal, you'll come to a final arena where you'll fight Zuras, Greed of Zivu Wrath. Defeating Zuras will net you a thousand glimmer, a Dreaming City drop. You'll notice in the video below, I got the Revere Dawn Strides, as well as six Dark Fragments. All right, Guardians, that's it for the guide. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button below or subscribe to the channel to see more D2 content from your boy, Killa Afghan. Until next time, take it easy. I found the hive looting a monastery. I intervened, I, I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't change anything. It was like I was a prisoner in my own body. I'd think run left and I'd go right. Shoot the ogre and instead I'd shoot a thrall. They have the relics.
everything's happening as it did, but that doesn't mean you'll win again. For all we know, we're playing a game of memory. Do everything exactly as we did last time, or die. Take care out there, cousin.
foresaw this. I foresaw it with such clarity. And when I tried to warn her, my voice failed me. Like a clawed fist was constricting around my throat. to Petra. We've recovered the stolen intel again. Transmatting now. Copy that. We'll check it for any differences. Last time, we found the files on those relics had to do with transverse drills, like the blind well, their function, their capabilities. I don't know whether the Hive were trying to withhold that information from us, or trying to use it against us. 